Towards the end of Banjo Kazooie, there's a board game slash quiz called Grunty's Furnace Fun, where you must answer questions and complete challenges in order to save your sister Tootie. Normally, you would only have to go from the start to the end, crossing the board and choosing whatever spaces you want to tackle. Doing this, you'll only likely complete about a third of the spaces. Uh -huh. But today, I am going to see if I can complete every space on the board in one go. So, a third of the board is around, like, 20 spaces? And by my count, there are 73 different spaces to complete here, so... Oh, like, there's so many. Just look at that sea of spaces. Oh, this might go badly. This might go very badly. Uh, I'll explain what each of the spaces do as we go. Uh, so let's just do the first one. So Banjo-Kazooie uh, just means it's a general knowledge question. This rock will long out big ship... Wait, wait, I didn't read that question. Uh, I didn't read that question. <laughs> um, I think there is no third funnel. Yay! Okay, good start, good start. So that's one out of 73 uh, completed. I hope I do this in one. That would be so amazing if I if I did this in one. Okay, the the, the eye symbol. This means that it's just a visual challenge. They're going to show you somewhere in the game, and I've got to say where, what level that uh, that the picture is from. So there's the toll, toll eight. So the only level with tolls like that is Rusty Bucket Bay. So there we go, Rusty bu Bucket Bay, done. Nice. So what makes this potentially quite tricky uh, is... There are a lot of death spaces, but also I think if you get it wrong, you take damage. But as you can see across the board, there are honeycombs that you can pick up. So if I take some damage, I'm going to save these honeycombs so I can go back and pick them up. Um, but yeah, there are some spaces that will just flat out kill us. Treasure Trust have got Captain Blubber. What's wrong with that sobbing blubber? He wanted a drink. He lost his gold. He couldn't remember his name. <laughs> he, he's lost his gold. It's always gold with these pirates, let me tell you. Uh, okay, this is going quite well. I don't really have a proper strategy for this because, like, I just have to complete all the spaces, right? I don't think it matters too much what I'm going to do here. So let's do one more and then I'll explain a bit more of the rules. So this is a musical one, so I have to actually listen to this and uh, stop talking for once. Which world's it from? Oh, there we go. That's Gobies. Initially, I was like, is that Free Easy Peak? <laughs> but no, that's uh, that's Gobies Valley. So here we go. So this is a unique space. Uh, so this is a Joker space. If you get this correct, you get two Joker cards, which means you can skip certain spaces if you don't want to do them. They count them as complete. But I think that's cheating. I think that's not in the spirit of what I'm trying to do here today. So instead of using the Joker cards, I have to complete the spaces, but I am not allowed to use these Jokers in order to skip any spaces. Because again, I think that's cheating. Uh, but let's see what we got. A lovely specimen in its pot. It's by my bed. What have I got? What? I actually don't know this. It can't be a bush. I'm going to say a plant. Yes, I actually didn't know that one. Excellent news. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to be using these jokers because I want to do all the boards legit. Uh, if I skip any, that means I didn't answer a question, which is uh, a bit lame in my opinion. Uh, right, so this is our first death space right here. So there are 14 death spaces on this board. And basically it means if you get it wrong, you die. You fall into the lava and that's it. So there are going to be 14 times in this playthrough or in this run where I have to answer a, a death question. And if I get it wrong, then I'm dead. And that's that. And I have to try again. Gobi's Cactus conceals a prize. Tell me what if you think you're wise. I think that's an empty honeycomb. Yeah, because I think that's the one sticking out the ground that's quite big and you hit the switch. Okay, cool. <laughs> So that's that done, and we got an extra life, so that's pretty good. So how many spaces have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six out of 73. That's less than 10%, but that's okay. So a grunty space is one where you, she asks you a personal question, and the only way you're meant to know this is by talking to her sister throughout the game in, in Grunty's castle. She's dotted around the place. If you speak to her, she gives you free personal details about Grunty. Now, they are randomized for each playthrough. So, I went around the castle just before this, trying to find her sister and speaking to her, and I think I have all the answers, 
And I wrote them down because there are so many questions. I don't think you're meant to memorize these off by heart. So maybe some people would say that's cheating. I think that's just common sense to write down the answers. Let's see what we get. I have 21 grunty answers here. Surely I'm not going to have any problem with these faces. Right, what we got? Look at my hair. See it flow. What's it washed with? Okay, I remember hair. I think I got hair. Uh, engine oil. I don't like that there's a timer on these. I actually completely forgot that you're timed on these questions. Because my handwriting's not the best. So I've got this big list of answers, but it's not in like any sort of order. It goes like toothbrush, hair, clothes, nickname, smell, color, sleep. It's like, I should have probably like sorted these out in some sort of order so I'm not panicking. But never mind. Let's keep going. Part of Monster Mansion's race. What's the time on the church clock face? What? Uh, yeah, it's nothing, right? Yay! So we've already covered Banjo-Kazooie, the musical note, the eye, the deaf one, Grunty. But the last one we have to do here is this stopwatch in front of us, which is just like a challenge. So it'll give you some sort of challenge throughout the game, like a boss fight or something, and you have to do it in a certain amount of time. Which is the ones that I'm potentially quite worried about, just because I'm going to have to do so many of these. So initially, I'm going to try and just not use feathers on this and see if I can do it that way. Okay, this is actually not too bad. This is going okay. Uh, I've always got my golden feather back up, but there you go. Nice. No golden feathers. Okay. The way I normally do that one is with golden feathers. Like, it's normally just go invincible, let them hit you, but that was actually quite easy. Freeze easy bears are rather sad. What can you find to make them glad? Presents, right? There we go. Not Wally Mammoths, sadly. That's a different game. Uh, okay. So, according to my notes, there are five stopwatches on this board. Because I just had to, like, bring up a map of this and count them to figure out how many spaces I'm going to have to do here. And apparently there's five. So we've done one of five already. So this is our second one. So we're actually getting through these quite quick. Oh, I don't know this one. Oh, I don't know this. Oh, no. Okay, uh, let's just kill this guy. I think that's worthwhile doing. Because I found out recently, and I probably should have known this, that these are not random. Like, this is a... Or oh, is this a note? No. Uh, these are not random. Like, these are set in place every single time. Oh, I'm doing so bad at this. Yes! Yes! Okay. Oh, the musical note. That was this one? Okay, nice. Like, yeah, so... In theory, anyone who's played this game before can just memorize what this pattern is. Oh no, wasn't it? No, I've already done that honeycomb. Oh, Mumbo's here, I think. Yes, good. Okay, there's the egg, and then I think the egg is there. No, I didn't no, I didn't want to hit that. I hit the wrong one. Uh then the egg was there. And then this was the honeycomb. Okay. So yeah, so you could totally have this memorized and just quickly do this, like, straight away. But, to be fair, the game is quite generous on time with this one. So, like, there we go. Even though I didn't know and I couldn't really remember what the locations were of those, I was still able to do it. Uh, Alright, back down we go. Another general question. The box in the hold of Rusty Bay, how many to break would you say? Oh, God. There's a lot. So there's one that splits into two... Um, it's like, it's got to be a factorial, right? Uh, I'm going to go 11. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't... The thing that's quite cruel about this is that questions can come up again. And considering how I'm doing every single space, I am probably going to see repeat questions. Um, so I probably will get another chance at that one. But maybe it's nine then. Maybe it was nine. You found enough. You know the score. How many nodes for the first note door? Oh. Well, there's only one level, right? So 50? Yes. That's one of those that if I had gotten that wrong, that would probably be a little bit embarrassing. It's like the first note door, right? But I thought it was like, you can only get 100 notes in Mambo's Mountain. So surely they don't require you to get like 75% of all notes in that level. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? That is Bubble Gloop Swamp. You can tell by the weird green texture. That's like rocks. Maybe? Are they green rocks? I don't I don't know. Okay, nice. That's actually this is actually going very well so far. So for the reference, there are 17 Banjo-Kazooie spaces. 
and we've done a few of them here, but the ones I'm worried about are the death spaces. So we've only actually done one of those because they kind of put a ton of death spaces towards the end. Like you can kind of see over there on the right, like there are so many death spaces. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just beeline to the death spaces, right? Like if I'm going to get a question wrong and die because of it, I'd rather that happen quicker. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Um, Rusty Bucket or Clankers? Oh no, they both came up. Oh no. I'm going to say Rusty Bucket. Yes. Okay. Good. I was just thinking because they both look like that sort of thing, but there's more like holes and chains in Rusty Bucket. The giant plant in Click Clock Wood. How's it get water to make it bud? It was Gobi from a camel from Kazooie Special Water Eggs. Uh, maybe in the next one, not this one. So yeah, so I've got a Joker down there I could go and get, but I think I'm going to do this musical one, and also I'm going to then go get the deaf one. The thing I'm really worried about with these musical ones is that when I did a playthrough for this to get to this point again, I did it with no volume. It was just so much easier not to have volume due to my setup, so I actually didn't hear any audio. Um, so hopefully that doesn't screw me over, but according to my notes, I, there are 10 music cue ones, so doable, nothing crazy. You should remember, but we'll see. If this is heard, where would you be? Oh, I should know this. Oh, that's not ringing any- I recognize it. That sounds like Freeze Easy Peak. That sounds like Freeze Easy Peak, so I'm gonna go Water's Cave. Yes, nice. It's just that melody, man. It's so memorable. Okay. So I'm going to stick with my strategy, death squares. If I can get all 14 death squares done, then I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with anything else. Because, yes, I take damage if you get something wrong, but there's a lot of health on this board, and I've got a lot of health, so... Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Nice and easy. Mumbo Jumbo, let's go. Thank you, Grunty. Harper Wapa the Shaman? I think that's a different game, mate. I think you're a bit early on that one. This ain't Grunty's revenge. Let's go on Grunty's, because Grunty should be easy. I really wish I was thinner. What does Grunty like for dinner? Right, I've got dinner. Dinner is slug stew. Yes, nice. I'm really paranoid that I've missed one of those because I have 21 answers, which means I found her sister seven times in the lair. But again, I don't want to look up how many, I, like I, I feel like I don't want to look that up. Like I don't want to look up where all those locations are. So I've just gone ahead and found where I think she is, and I think I've got them all, but I, I don't know. I hope it doesn't come down to that. That would suck. See the picture on my screen? Yes, okay. I might stop reading these. Okay, well that's uh, Gobi's Valley. Yeah, initially I've been reading out these questions, but uh, I probably won't do that. After I've done it like 73 times, that might get a bit much. I don't know. All right, music one. Listen up now. Then make your choice, which, okay, character. That's Tootie, right? Badger <laughs> the stupid fat bear. <laughs> I love that in this game that they always call Banjo fat. Like that's, but he's, he's quite a slender, as far as bears go, he's a very slender bear. I've not seen many thin bears like Banjo. Okay, challenge number three. Here we go. Oh no, right, I need to write this down. Uh, where's my pen? There's no way I'm doing this. I'm not going to memorize it. No way. Okay, let's write this down. So P-I, blue, L-B, P-I, yellow, L-B, B. Now, some might say this is cheating. Um, and they might be right. I don't know. <laughs> It's just one of those where I know back in the day when playing this game, I didn't write this down and I would be a good little boy and I would sit there and be like, I'm going to remember the turtle one. But it's like, I feel like this is one of those where you're meant to write it down, right? Right? Maybe? I mean, the crowd boos me and they disagree, obviously, but across the sky, I love to glide. What type of bro um, I don't have broomstick. I don't have broomstick. I, I, what? I'll have to guess. I oh, guess, right? Okay, right. I need to write. I don't have broomstick on my list. Broomstick was the, I'm, I'm going to have to write that down. So I missed one. 
god, I can't believe I've missed one. That means there's at least two other questions I could get for Grunty. And the thing is about the death squares is that, and I hope I have this right, I believe the death squares are random questions. So when you go to a death space, it could be any type of question, including Grunty questions. So if any of those two questions that come up that I don't have written down on my list, then I'm guessing I'm going one for free, I guess. I mean, it worked out for me just then, but okay, death square. You want to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing so well? Oh, do I have band? I don't have band. I don't have band. Let's go to the middle one. I don't have band. What? Well, that's a little upsetting. I... How many... So 21 answers is not enough. Is what I've learned. Like, this... Okay, so this at least reinforced what I think. You're not supposed to memorize these grunty questions. Like, you're just not. They wouldn't have eight different ones. Or maybe there's nine. Maybe there's ten different locations the sister can be in. I don't know. I've missed some, so clearly something's gone wrong. I thought 21 answered would be enough, but no. In my first attempt at this, I get two grunty questions that I didn't see. All right, well, at least we're learning. At least they came up now, which means they won't come up again, right? Right? Of these items on the ground on Treasure Trove Cove was first found. What? Uh, I guess they mean red feathers? Okay. That's a bit of a weirdly phrased question, but okay, whatever. We'll, we'll move on. See the picture on my screen? Yada, yada, yada. Show me a picture. Oh, Treasure Trove Cove. I think these level ones, and I might be jinxing myself, I think at least these ones are going to be somewhat easy. All right, Grunty, let's try this again. Don't be smart, you've not won yet. When was I small? What was my pet? Okay, I've got pet. Pet was a mad vulture. Good. All right, we're back on track. Yeah, let's go and hit this death question just so I don't have to loop all the way back. Mad Monster Mansion is real hard, I agree, but what's not found in the graveyard? Um, ghosts, right? Oh, that was a, that's a tough question. Because that level is nothing but ghosts, like, everywhere. Apart from, I guess, in the graveyard. But I never even thought about that. Like, no. They're, they're actually not in the graveyard. Thanks, Grunty. Well, that's very high pitch and enthusiastic, so it's got to be invincibility. The Wonder Wing. I actually did not know that name off by heart, so I'm very glad that it gave me that choice. All right, Joker. The Walrus on Freeze Easy Peak. What's his name that I now seek? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's Wazza, right? Nice. It's not Gazza. I would have remembered if it was Gazza. All right, first death question. One out of 14. Let's do this again. Me and her look just the same. Hmm. Grunty Sisters, what's her name? Begins with B... Oh. Brentilla? Oh. <laughs> I've spoken to her enough times. Apparently not enough times, but I've spoken to her enough to know uh, I should know her name. I might just get to the point where all my brain knows our answers to these questions and I can just, like, halfway through the question, I can just skip it and answer. Like, that, that's a bit dystopian for me. Above the sand, you see it glide in Gobi's Valley. What's the ride? It's the carpet, right? Magic carpet? Nice. But I think so far, these questions have been easy. Apart from that grunty question that got me bloody killed, so far, they've been quite nice. Okay, the bee one, or the wasp one. This one went really well last time. Uh, awful start. There we go. That's actually really simple. I know I got hit there, but that's actually really simple. <laughs> How dare you stop that stare? What color undies do I wear? Uh, I've got undies. Wait, do I have undies? I don't have undies. What? Oh, it's sweaty yellow. Okay, I'm writing that one down. How is there another one that I don't have? Yellow. This is crazy. This is insane how many questions there are for the Grunty Space. But anyway, we're getting the answers for them at the very least. We have the broomstick answer and we have the underwear answer. And the the band one is now a two out of three. So, all right, second death space. 
Because all those spells I learned, who met school was my old best friend. Uh, Saggy Maggie. Who could forget? I actually had that one, which is very nice. Okay. Um, let's go up and do this other death one. And then I'll start heading right to do those ones. I cannot lie, I tell the truth. What's hanging from my bedroom roof? What? What? I don't have this one either. Dirty undies? What? This is actually... I actually can't believe this. That I, I have 20... Uh, free answers for this quiz and it's still throwing ones I don't know at me. How is That's crazy. Right, a little more it wouldn't hurt. What would I have for dessert? Oh, dessert. I've got dessert. Cockroaches and cream. Delicious. Alright, death question number three. Listen carefully to this too. Oh no. Which world's it from? Okay. Uh, click clock? Nice, I knew it. I knew it the whole time. I couldn't really tell you exactly where it is, but there was nowhere in Blood uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp that would have that type of music, so... A little bit of a guess, but that's fine. Right? Uh, okay, so there's that death space over there. Let's do this challenge. Oh, no. Uh, so I'm normally okay at this one. But I feel like there's such a luck element to it that if you just get bad spawning, like, you're just screwed. There's just nothing you can do. But at least with these shoes, hopefully that means that this is going to be a little bit easier. Oh, no. See, look, look at that. See, there's always the old trick of just getting the ones he's going for so he can't get any. Hey, okay, grab you, grab you. Oh, this minigame is so long. It's always longer than I want it to be. Okay, this is, like, totally fine. Like, we completely destroyed him. I don't want to toot my own torn here, but this was not even close. Because when I did my casual playthrough to get up to this point, I did that without the shoes, which is tricky, but doable. Um, okay, let's just do this BK space while we're here. Get an extra health. One doesn't exist, furry twit, in Monster Mansion, which is it? Right. Uh, there is no... Kitchen, because that's in Rusty Bucket Bay. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? What am I? Oh, that's that's inside the, the igloo. Yeah, I think that's inside the igloo. When I first saw that, I was like, is that Banjo-Tooie? Are they, are they messing with me here? The crocodile in Bubble Glue Swamp give me the names of what they chomp. Oh, I don't know. I think it's the middle one. Nice. I mean, we literally just did that mini game, so I probably should have known that, but here we go. Listen up now, make your choice. Which characters has this dumb voice? <laughs> Why, well, it sounds like a monkey. I think it's that big monkey in Mumbo's Mountain. Yeah, Congo, right? The one that's in like a red bra or something? I don't, I don't know. Stupid sexy monkey. This is our, is this our fourth deaf question? You found enough, you know the score. How many nodes for the first node door? Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, our second repeat question so far. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've done four out of 14. So we've only got... Oh my god, we've only got 10 more death questions to do. <laughs> That's so many. Look at my build, muscles taunt. What's my most enjoyable sport? Uh, I have sport. Broomstick racing. Just like the Harry Potters. Uh, that's Bubble Gloop Swamp, I believe. There's such a distinctive green in that level that whenever you see it, you can just be like, yeah, it's the swamp. Make your choice. Which character? Okay, character voice. Gotcha. Dude, I don't know. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the tree. It is the tree, isn't it? I mean, the other ones were just such fake answers. Like, I was like, there's no elephant in Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, it is that pathetic tree. Okay. Challenge number three for this playthrough, I think. Oh, it's this again. Well, hopefully this time I know where stuff is. 
Maybe. Let's hit this one. Let's see what this one is. I think that's this one. Then this should be Kazooie. And I think Kazooie was here. And then... That's here? No! Ah! That was almost perfect. That was almost perfect. That's nice that that mummy drops it, but oh, that was almost perfect. When I have to do this one like five more times, I'm going to be so good at it. Just watch this space. We didn't wash. There was no pool. Where did I go to which school? Uh, school. Sent dung balls. Head of an academy. Head of a place to learn. All right. Death question number five. She will soon be fat and lame. What is your little sister's name? All right. I think we can do this one. Feeling pretty, pretty confident that it's Tootie. The whales blow hold an object sat in Clanker's cavern. It's a bolt, right? Yeah, a giant bolt. Nice. So actually, as you can see here, we can't do all the death questions first. Because the very last question over there in the top right is a death question. Which means, and it's a brilliant design, I have to say. Like, it's mean, but it's brilliant. It means you have to complete a death question as the last one in order to beat this thing. So we're going to do all the death questions but one. Then after I've done every single other space, I'm going to come back and have to do a death question to actually finish this. Oh, where is that? Oh, I don't know where that is. Um, It's the swamp or click clock. I'll go the swamp, but I think it's click... Let's go... I think it's click clock. Nice, okay. It's that green. It had that swamp green, but I was like, where would that be in the in Bubble Gloof Swamp? And I was like, I don't recognize it, but maybe click clock is just a bigger place and I missed it. I don't know. Anyway... Listen up, make your choice. Which ca Oh, another character voice one. I want to say Tootie again. Yeah, I, yeah, it's another repeat question. Okay, nice. We'll take it. We'll take those all day. Oh, we've almost done all the challenges. Uh, but okay. The box one? Oh, no, it's this one. Okay. The name of your game, you must spell backwards, though. Be quick as well. We gotta spell Banjo Kazooie, but we gotta do it backwards. They always do this in Banjo Kazooie where you have these like. Oh, what did I miss? The J? Oh, yeah, the J's over there. Okay, I'm actually kind of running a little low on time here. I gotta stop babbling and actually start doing this properly. Uh, the B was here. There we go. Nice. So, this is when it's gonna. This is. I wouldn't say it's a make or break. But I have to answer five death questions in a row. I, in a casual playthrough, I don't even know why these death questions are here. Like, who would ever answer these three death questions in a row? Apart from psychopaths like me. Treasure trove... Treasure's got a treasure hunt. How many X's? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not that many. I think it's five. It wasn't five. It must have been six then. Because I remember when I was playing through Treasure Trove before, I was like surprised at how little there were. All right, attempt number three then, I guess. Let's go. We're doing better each time, at the very least. All right, here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Uh, I'm going to go Jinjo. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. I've played this game a few times. It's probably not Binjo. In a pyramid, some tiles you match. Who's not included? Oh, we've done this twice already. Uh, Gruntilda. Okay, good. Listen up now, then make your choice. Okay, another voice one. Oh, that's the, the fat bear. Like, the actual fat bear, not Banjo. Uh, it's, yeah, Boggy the polar bear. All right, burning through these. Listen carefully to this tune. Oh no, okay. Oh, it's Gobies. We've had this one already. I thought there were a lot more questions than this. We're getting a ton of repeats here. And it's only my third attempt. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Click clock words. Want to say autumn because of how orange it all is? 
Oh, I didn't even ask. Rude. Should get bonus points for that. Uh, Clanker's Cavern, Whale Needed Air. What did you swim through way down there? Uh, a large key? I guess it is a key, isn't it? I never really saw it that way, but yeah, I guess it is a key and a lock. I just thought it was a spinny thing. Oh, it's this one again. Oh, this is so easy with the shoes. I don't know why I was ever worried about this one. <laughs> Like, with the shoes, this is just ridiculous. Alright, new record though. New record for me. Make a nice easy 30. I cannot lie, I tell the truth. What's hanging from my bedroom roof. Oh. Isn't this the one I guessed dirty underwear and it was wrong? Let's go smelly socks. Okay, smelly socks. Alright, let's write that one down. Bedroom roof socks. Hopefully, that's every question done, and I now have all the answers for that one. I really hope it is. You pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this... Okay, alright. <laughs> it could be anything! It could be anything! Shaman's token is such a weird way of phrasing that. Like, they're doing that on purpose just to mess with me. Let's see if your memory's foggy. What's the name of my pet doggy? Well, Pet was a mad vulture. Wait, I don't have dog. You had a vulture. You can't. You had a vulture. So you had a pet vulture and also a dog? Grunty. Don't be smart. You've not won yet. When I was small, what was my pet? You, look, you, you had a vulture. You didn't have a dog. What are you doing, Grunty? Oh, she's making things up now. She's just getting upset. She's breaking all the rules. Ah! You can't you can't have a vulture and a dog. They don't get on, probably. Okay, I have stopped counting these deaf ones. Because I know the rough route I need to go. I just... Keeping track of all this. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I might be here all day. Who knows? You should remember, but we'll see. If this is heard, where would you be? All right. We had this already, didn't we? This is Freeze Easy Peak? I think it's another repeat. So, where do I need to go? Let's go and... Yeah, I need to go do that death square over there. So let's let's head this way. Treasure Trove Sandcastle's floor is missing a letter. Guess one's... Oh, it's... Well... Uh, I don't remember a Q. But it could be an X. I'm going to say X. It was an X. The charmer helps you on your way in his pyramid. What do you pay? Eggs. Some blue eggs. Because if there's ever a hold in this game, just put some eggs in it. That'll sort that out. <laughs> God, it's you again. Let's see if I can do this without using gold feathers. I actually kind of don't remember this as well as I was hoping I would. Uh, well, Kazooie... Oh, I, I got that one wrong. I might have to kill this guy because I actually don't remember this. Oh, no. Let's hit this one. Um, aren't you here? No, that's the stupid fat bear. Musical note, and then here? Then honeycomb... Has to be here, then. That makes mumble this one and mumble that one. Okay. Good to know I can do that one without... Oh, missed. Good to know I can do that one without killing that mummy if I need to. Because I don't want to use up all my golden feathers. Because once I get on a run, like once things start coming together, I'm going to need those golden feathers. Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Probably not. Oh, okay. I can probably guess this one. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. It's not... <laughs> I wish it was Buggles. Buggles is a much better name. Jinjos are a crafty lot on Treasure Cove. Where are they not? So they are under the... They are... Uh, the yellow one's in the tree. The blue one's in the pier. So I'm guessing it's the chest. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. You pick up items on the ground. Right. Give it to me. <laughs> These ones, luckily, are very easy. Uh, it's probably not musical goats. Let's go blue eggs. 
Those ones are, are so far been very nice and very easy. I hope it continues that way. This run of luck will have to stop. Big ship's third funnel. What's... Are we... A repeat! Another repeat! Perfect. So... Yeah, alright. Okay, Grunty, I've got all your secrets now. You're a mess. What do I hide under my dress? What does that mean? What? Wait, what? I don't have under your dress? Oh, it's a girdle. Don't... Isn't it? What? How is that a different question? How is there another Grunty question? I can't believe there was an... Right, we'll just have to keep trying. The newsstand is where I've been. What's my favourite? Magazine. I've got magazine. It's the crystal... What? No, magazine cover. No. What? Big butts? No, I don't have magazine. I have magazine cover, but I don't have what a favourite magazine is. How many questions are there for this one? We're getting so many repeats on the other questions, but Grunty is just, like, having her way with me. Oh, my God. All right. Fat Hag Monthly thinks I'm hot. Yeah, I've got this one. I've got magazine cover. It's the old crystal ball. Everyone knows that. That's basic. That's day one Banjo-Kazooie. You can actually hear my voice cracking and collapsing. I'm so upset. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, see the picture on my screen. Do you know where you've been? I hope so. I don't. Wait, what is that? Is that click clock? Um, I think that might be on top of a crate. No. It's starting to fall apart a little. The wheels are coming off. I, I don't know where that is then. Hopefully it doesn't come up again. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Oh, that's Gobi. Gobi. Gobas. Gobaloba ding dong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This quiz is driving me insane. Right, challenge. We can do these. Oh, it's this one. Um, Mighty Big Box, you must now fight, but be quick because time is tight. So this is the one I think I'm going to need. Can I shoot eggs? Shoot a load of eggs. I've got a ton of eggs, but this is the one I think I might need the golden feathers on. Like, we've got a good amount of time. I'm just like... Oh, I'm wasting eggs. I'm wasting eggs, boys. Can I just go in? Oh, God. Okay, that's a bad idea. That is a very bad idea. I think I'm going to have to start using invincibility in a bit. I should be counting these boxes, though. So at least I can say there are way not more than nine boxes here. But let's just use our golden feathers here. Like, there's just no point. Uh, right. I need to go and get some health. Let's do a little bit of backtracking here. Uh, Alright, let's just do these questions while we're here. Captain's cupboard in uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. What's on the bed duvet, I say? What? Anchors. Cool. Okay, that, that, that was a tricky question. Oh, dare you look. Stop that stare. What colour undies? Ah, we've got this one. We got this one, mate. I wrote that one down. A lovely sweaty yellow for everybody. I'm glad they said sweat, because uh, obviously when you think underwear and you think yellow. Don't know about you, but I'm not thinking sweat. All right, here we go. The death questions. Gobi's cactus conceals a prize. It's the empty honeycomb. The thing I'm actually a little bit terrified about with this quiz is a misclick. Like, we've all done it, right? You're playing a game, you're doing a quiz, all you got to do is select something, and you just click the wrong thing because you try and rush it. I am terrified that that happens. So I'm going to try and not do that, but you never know. Listen up now, make your choice. Okay, character voice. Whose voice is that? It's got to be Brentilla. Oh, God. Good. They gave me quite nice options there, because I know that's not Tootie, because I've already heard Tootie twice in this quiz. And I was like, well, that's not Grunty, so we'll go Brentilla. See the picture on my screen? I might know where you've been. That's Bubble Gloop Swamp. I wonder how many of these images there are for these questions. Like, wait, wait. Oh, no, it's Mad Monster. Okay, good. <laughs> I was so confident. I saw that green. That green is starting to let me down. I gotta start ignoring the green. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character... Okay, another voice one. 
Um, nap nut? Conquer the squirrel. It could be. Could be conquer. You never know. Good old nap nut. I wonder if I should be doing the Talon Trot when doing this. I feel like I don't really need to because it's not actually all that hard, all things considered. Okay, but there's the X. Oh, shoot. What did I just hit last? Oh, I was going for the K. Okay. But there's the X on the ground. That means it's a Q that's missing. That's good info. That is good info. And then we hit the B and there we go. Easy peasy. So far, the only challenge I'm worried about is the box one. Simply because if you run out of golden feathers, you are screwed. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Here we go. Five death questions in a row. They have a tower in which they hide. On Mombo's mountain, what's inside? The termites. I, I guess it's called Tigger. I didn't know that, but alright. You learn something new every day. Alright, second death question. You should remember, but we'll see if this is heard. Where okay, alright, I'm listening. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think this one? <gasps> oh, that's so tricky. Because they say inside the shaman's skull or inside the shaman's head, which you would think are the same thing. But no, they want skull. They want specifically to say it's his skull, not his head. That is so mean. These death questions are quite mean. Can you even believe it? All right, number three. Do you know and can you tell what on earth's my favorite smell? Oh, I have smell. Uh, freshly boils, the boils ones. Thank God. Thank God I have that. All right, extra lives, nice. All right, number four. The rusty bucket is a tanker. What's stuck underneath its anchor? Oh, that dolphin. That's some dumb dolphin. Yeah, that's the one. He was kind of dumb. L like, he was a little dumb. Okay. Angers don't move that quickly, I don't think. So that's kind of his fault for getting stuck. I'm not trying to victim blame here, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta look at yourself sometimes. The galley fridge in Rusty Bay. Tell me what on the... Sh it's eggs. <laughs> Grunty's iPad spread. No, thank you. I don't want to hear anything about that. No, thank you. So we finally did this row of death ones. So how many do we have to do? One, two. Well, we have to do these ones on the left side. So let's let's head left now and see if we can cut off. From Gobi's pyramid, it spills. What empties out the moat it fills? Well, it's a moat. So traditionally, that's water. I don't think the N64 could handle a horde of mummies. Like Days Gone style mummies going into the moat. In Spiral Mountain, fills are green. Yep, can confirm. Which Veggie ba Baddie isn't seen. Uh, well, there's definitely a cauliflower and a carrot, so let's go potato. They also didn't have the tech to render potatoes. That's that's also very commonly known. I'm just seeing if there's any deaf ones I've missed, and I don't think so. I think we're getting very close to doing all the deaf ones. Uh, what's going to be easier? Uh, let's just go this way. Okay, number four is one. We've been good at these so far. What the hell is that? Um, I think it's Napper. Yeah. If they listed three genuine characters in the game for that question, I think I would have got that wrong. I only knew that because I knew the other ones weren't real characters. All right, what we got? All right, wasps. I'm quite good at this one. Oh, no, not quite. One more, and there we go. Yeah, that one's really not too bad. I remember as a kid playing that one and really struggling with it. But as a big called adult playing it for the internet, I'm a, I'm a pro, a bit of a pro. A bubble fish who's really tame in Clanker's Cavern, what's his name? This is a gloop. Is this one of the few characters that actually introduce himself? He's just like, hey, what's up? My name's Gloop. It's nice to meet you. If you want my oxygen, go for it, dude. Like, he's actually, like, nice. I don't think a lot of characters do that. Or maybe they do. I don't know. That is Click Clock because of the windows. That's Nab Nut's hat house, right? 
Right, we're getting very close to this death one over here, which I'm excited about. Blubber Goose Swamp hides a treat. What in the water chomps your feet? Oh, well, it's, it's piranhas, right? No. <laughs> That'd be so good if it was electric toasters, but... Alright, a bit grim, though. A bit grim, but funny. Freeze easy uh, salmon courses crass through how many gates? What? No! No! It's a lot. Let's... It's a lot. It can't be 48. I'm gonna go 38. Oh! That is so mean! That is the meanest question I've ever... I'm going to have to write that down. Just going to write down 38. F gates. There we go. That is so mean. You would... That is just... Oh my god. Grunty. Grunty baby. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? You want to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing well? Oh, I've got band. Oh no, I guessed band wrong, didn't I? So it wasn't Monster Mob. Let's go Broomstick Boys. Because that sounds sexy. Well, that would have been better, Grunty. That would have been better. Don't judge me because you have, you're not very good at naming bands. Grunty's cute. She's quite a dame. Hmm. What was my first boyfriend's name? Oh, I've got boyfriend. Undead Ed. That stud. Everyone wanted a bit of Ed. Because he was undead. Oh, okay. Get the pen out. Time to write stuff down. Oh, my writing is atrocious. I think that's, I think that's meant to be a B that I wrote down then yellow. It's so mean that there's a blue and a light blue, and there's also a purple and a pink. Because when I write this stuff down, I can't just write P. Because P could be purple or uh, like, or purple or pink. So P doesn't cut it. I've got to go P, U, or P, I. And I can't just put blue. I have to put L, B, or B. It's uh, uh, grunty. Gobi's camel's on vacation. What he's got on his third location? What? Um, yeah, because you get the Jiggy from the first one, and I'm pretty sure he would give you something. So I guess that's got to be it. All right, another death space. Listen up. Oh, okay. We've been okay on these ones, so. What? What? Uh, well, Clank is the only real one in this game. <laughs> I barely heard that. I don't know that came from... I don't know if you guys heard that, but oh my god, Grunty. So mean. Let's go all the way back to the beginning so I can start planning how I'm actually going to finish this. Okay, so we've got these this bit on the left here that I'm going to have to go and sweep. But I'm, I'm, wow, I think I've done all the challenges. I've done all the death ones. So now it's just doing, hopefully, some quite easy ones. When this piece of music's heard, which moves done by the stupid bird. Well, everyone knows that's uh, that's your wonder wing. What? What? Oh, I guess it was the turbo trot. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I was singing it. All right. Clanker the whale stuck down in the goo. In Clanker's cavern, what does he do? Eats garbage, right? He moans about it quite uh, directly, so, yeah. That is... Um, Clanker's? Because it's gross? Oh, that might be Grunty's lair. I'm going to go Grunty's lair. No, it wasn't Grunty's lair. Okay, I guess it was Clanker's then. I didn't even know they Grunty Slayer would be an option for any of these. It's quite interesting. See the picture on my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a give me a second chance. Alright, nice and easy. Gobi's place, Gobi's Valley, Gobi Desert, whatever you want to call it. Gobi's Valley, there we go. Could never remember the name of that place. Most of the time I'm pretty sure I called it Gobi's Desert, which is just wrong. We didn't wash, there was no pool. Oh, school, it's the school one. Uh Scent Dung Ball School. Gotcha. Gotcha. Grab this. Alright, we're actually doing our second Joker space ever. Like, I always do the one on the left. I've never actually got down to this point, so okay. You can't win, I've been assured. How many squares are on the board? 73, right? I wrote it down. Oh. 
Oh, I guess that doesn't include free spaces. And there's way more than five free spaces, so 94. Yes. Yes. I know. <laughs> Thank God I counted. Wow. Because that's a really hard one. Normally people wouldn't count the spaces, but I did. But I only counted active spaces. I didn't count the blank ones. So that actually really paid off. <laughs> I'm prepared. It pays to be prepared. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character is dumb voice? All right. Oh, that's terror. Oh, no. No, thank you. No. Enough. No, cut it off. It's the eagle. It's eerie the eagle, but no. Please stop. Let's not do that one again as a repeat. That was quite terrible. Oh, that's the wellies. Because you got the bounce of the wellies, because wellies are... Bouncy, I guess? I don't, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Uh, stilt stride. Nice. I swear they're making these names up. Like, I swear these names are not what they're called. When Bottles is teaching you these moves, I bet it's like, Check out the stilt slide, son! Cut these wellies on, it's gonna be sick. SS, we're all about the SS here. Wait, no, cut that. Cut that out. Don't don't put that in. That's freeze easy peak. Or Diddy Kong Racing. It looks very much like Diddy Kong's racing to me. Diddy Kong's racing. <laughs> Diddy Kong racing, right? Not Diddy's Kong racing. It's not like Diddy Kong's Diddy Kong's quest. Or Diddy's Kong quest. This will make no sense for people who don't know rare games. <laughs> what I'm saying. Maybe it doesn't make sense to people who do know rare games. I don't know. Listen up now, then make your choice. It's a voice one. All right. Oh, this it's a little racist, this one. Can we can we cut this one as well? Maybe don't include this one. A little racist. Uh, it's, the, it's the snake charmer. It's a little problematic. I guess I'll just keep filling in these spaces. They're, it's just odds and ends at the moment. Or to mention in my ground, how many ways could be found? What? Eight? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even understand the question. Oh, I guess it was the windows, right? How many windows you could break to get in? I don't know. Get this wrong, make a mistake. Which color Jinjo is fake? Uh, it's brown? Alright, so we just got a few more to do here then. Not too bad. The newsstand is where I've been. What's my favorite magazine? Oh, I didn't write this one down! Warty Girls? It's not Warty Girls. It's not Warty Girls. Guess this right or you may lose. What's the only colour I'll choose? Gruesome Green is what I have written down here. Okay, cool. Your sister didn't lie to me. That's good. In Bubble Glue Swamp's Marshy Mound, what thing's highest above the ground? It's like... Yeah, a mud hut. Because you got to use the, the spring thing to jump up. That makes sense to me in my head. In Treasure Trove within this game, what is the Leaky Bucket's name? What? It has a name? Leaky? Okay, nice. Right. In Click Clock Wood, here's the king. What? What's the squirrel doing in spring? Is he the king? I think he's eating his nuts. Because he's sleeping in his bed in winter. And he wants nothing to do with that beaver. I don't know if there's beef, but he, he ain't talking to that beaver. Not Grunty's Lair. I'm really interested to see if there is an image of Grunty's Lair that can come up. I want to say there isn't. I can't think of any time where Grunty's Lair has been the correct answer for this. When this piece of music's heard, which moves done by the stupid bird? Right, should be easy, this one. Okay, that's the turbo trot. That's gotta be. I'm not going to sing it this time. I'm just going to get it correct. Turbo Talent Trap. TTT. Here's three answers, only one you'll pick. What's my amazing party trick? I've got party trick. Wait. No, I do. I think it's the beans. I can't find... Oh, beans. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> I did have it on my list. I just couldn't find it. My handwriting's so bad. Gosh darn it. In Rusty Bay, you... Act the clown. Which of these you can't slow down? What? Um, the cogs? Yeah, nice. Okay, alright. Alright, and hopefully the last grunty question. Look at my hair, see it flow. What's it wash with? Oh, hair. Uh, wash his hair with engine oil. I've got that one. 
Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes. Right. So there's only one square left. Let's quickly sanity check this. Let's just go around. Everything's lit up on this side. Everything's lit up over here. We have 10 jokers. So there are only five joker spaces on the board. So by having 10 jokers, I know that I've done them all successfully. Because I was a little bit worried. With the jokers, if you get it wrong, you you can't try it again. So I didn't know what I was going to do if I got a joker wrong. But yeah, this is it. Every single board lit up. You know, all we have to do is answer one more. <laughs> this is so mean. One more question. And if I get it wrong, I die. If I get it right, then I'm done. And I can, I don't know, go to bed or something. Listen up. Oh, no. Okay, we've been good at these ones. We've been good at the dumb voice ones. I don't know what that is. What is that? Um, Nibbles, the crocodile, final answer? No! Oh! Oh! What? I guess it... No! Oh! They were all legit answers. Like, they were all legit answers. They were all characters that exist. And I was like, well, it's not the small crab. But I didn't think the giant herbit crab had that deep of a voice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to have to do it again then. It's doable. It's very doable. I'm just going to have to do it again. I guess. Ah, oh, I was so close. Okay, all right. Let's do this again. All right. Okay, and with that, I've done another playthrough of this, and I have completed every single space yet again. The only one I need to do is that final death space. I'm just quickly checking, making sure that's definitely true. But yeah, you can see everything's lit up. It actually didn't take that long. I, not as long as I thought. I am getting so many repeats at this point that it's making it a lot easier. But okay, this time I'm going to get it correct. Please. Please. Nice and easy one. Listen up. Now make... No, not the voice one again. Okay, all right, fine. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. She said cool voice. There's only one person that would be. Here we go. Gruntilda the witch. Nice. Nice. Oh. I'm finally done. <laughs> that took ages. I don't think anything different happens. Although I'm going to watch this cutscene and see if there is something different. If Grant Kirkhope shows up, he's like, yeah, nice one, lads. I can't do a Grant Kirkhope impression. So we just completed all 73 of those bases just to rescue our sister. I guess that's nice, I suppose. But yeah, so that's, it's doable. I did it. I guess I'm glad I did it. It's one for the bucket list, I suppose. Okay, so let's recap what I just did. So that was 73 spaces, 14 death spaces, 17 general knowledge, 11 picture ones, 10 music sound ones, 5 challenges, 11 grunty and 5 jokers. So there we go. That's, that's that done. I'm glad I got it done. I think. I think. Right? 